I know if Bud was here and he knew the circumstances of the heat and the crowd, the first thing he'd say is he would, be, he would speak and then be seated, and I would do the same. Um, his favorite expression was, relax, it's only politics. In the campaigns we had, we had to have that poster up, right? And so today we had a little bit of confusion on the event, but uh, he, would have, he would have enjoyed this part. Nicole and I talked about it earlier today. I too want to recognize the traditional lands we're on. We're only one of two places in Canada that has a First Nations territory right inside the city boundaries. And it is a unique relationship and one that we treasure. Secondly, in respect to the police officers that were killed this, uh, this morning, um, I invite you back here on September the 30th, just a block away down the street here. Uh, we've had two police officers killed in the line of duty. One was named Jack Lewis. And Jack Lewis has never been memorialized properly in the city. So we're unveiling a plaque on the national on September 30th, the National Police Day Memorial, just down the street, one block from here, and it's to recognize Jack Lewis's sacrifice. And we're going to have Lewis is apparently coming from around the world to, to recognize his contribution. And he was he was killed, and in turn, two uh, bad guys were killed. One was named Red Ryan, the gentleman who convinced the governor of uh, the president, uh, prime minister of Canada at the time, that he was rehabilitated and. About six months later, he was killed on the streets of Sarnia. So please come back for that. The whole key with Bud was civility. Uh, it was humor, um, his love of people. There was once a poll done of the top 10 uh, most popular MPs on Parliament in the early 70s, and Bud was on the list. He was near the top of the list because he treated everyone with warmth and with wisdom. Um, I recognize that, well, I got to tell you a couple quick stories. Was we were once at a funeral out at Stedman Brothers out at, uh, in Brigden. Some of you will know that place, right? So the guy that's bringing the coffin in, and we're just sitting there. Brian is bringing the coffin in. He's wheezing and hacking all the way down as he brings it in. So the ceremony's over, and then the guy's doing the same thing when he leaves. And Bud turns to me and says, it's hardly worth him leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to contain myself. Um, and there was another great story. It happened at Derby Lane. I was a young liberal back in 72, 74 with him. We knock on the door, you know, the MOM there, and then he's off this side. This burly construction guy opens the door. And I say, hey, you know, I'm young, naive, and fresh. I say, hey, would you like to meet Bud Cullen? And this guy goes, you can tell Bud Cullen to go piss in his hat. <laughs> Bud just moves over and says, why don't you tell me? <laughs> and he used to tell the story about... Uh, one of those, we're all a few feet through this, Mr. Minister. Um, he's at a, one of those very liquid uh, service club things on a Saturday night. <laughs> on, a, on a Saturday night. And um, Bud's the guest speaker. So he's trying to make small talk with the people there, right, at the head table. And that can be a challenge sometimes, right? So he asked the president of the club, like, what are you, they're having a 50 50 draw. He said, what are you doing with the money from the 50 50 draw? And this guy turns to Bud and says, we're trying to get better speakers. <laughs> Well, he, he did love the House of Commons, and he um, and the House of Commons in turn loved him. He had friendships with John Diefenbaker. He had, and back in the day when there was uh, civility in politics and friendships across the aisle, that all, in my view, ended in 1979. And um, I mean, he, he he deeply loved Nicole, and as as I do, and the family does. We love everything about her, except the accordion. <laughs> <laughs> but he. Um, I'll tell you this one story. There was a gentleman, uh, David Bushy's here, who's on, been on, who was first elected 50 years ago. Over here. David, David. Well, you remember the late John Matheson. Anyhow, John was on council. He was conservative. He was looking to run for, uh, for office uh, at the federal level. And Bud got a, call, got a call about one or two in the morning. That was the back of the days when we had newspapers that had reporters. And so, sorry. <laughs> the media got that joke. Anyhow, what happened was he gets called one or two in the morning, and Bud, you know, he, he was never, ever nasty with anyone. But what he said, and in this world of social media character assassination, it was mild in my view, but what he said about Mr. Matheson was that uh, I've never expected very much from him, I've never been disappointed. <laughs> okay? That's a mild rebuke, right? But Bud was so upset with himself, he flew back to Sarnia and had a press conference to apologize. That was a different generation, and Mr. Matheson never forgot that story and how he was treated. I do just want to acknowledge the immigration sponsorship. When we could bring Syrian refugees in here, it was because of Bud. Also, uh, Grace United Church was one of the pioneers in the 70s and 80s in bringing uh, refugees in from, from Vietnam. And at Bud's funeral, the president of the Vietnamese Association, the boat people, showed up to say thanks on behalf of the 25,000 people that have a better life and have demonstrated what immigration in Canada is all about. So he built his career, Bud did it, on sunny ways before it was popular. <laughs> he, um, I just want to read you in closing. If you, if you have a chance, go down, I was down there yesterday, go down to Canaterra Park to Lake Chippewa, and there's a bench, it's called Bud's Bench, 
It's been there for over a decade. It's just beautiful. It looks over on the little lake, uh, Lake Chipkin. And on the bench, it, it, it lists his record and, and, and career. But what I love what uh, Nicole and the family wrote, it's typical Bud. It says, from the back bench to the front bench, to the top bench, to this bench. <laughs> With compassion, grace, humor, and warmth always. That was Bud Cole. Thank you.